best friend alert. No, sorry, I haven't made up. And no, I don't want to talk about it. Eve! Did Eve just ignore me? Who cares? <laughs> well, she can't still be mad at me. Why is she wasting her time with that geek? Running away, yes. But I'm not being horrible. We're just not meant to be friends anymore. It happens. Eve! No way. They're like one of those two-week relationships. Like, no way. Hitting... I'm pretty so. Anyway. They're one of those, like, two-week Yeah, they don't. Don't cute, though. I mean, he's more like... <laughs> Corbin? Harley? Hey, you're not a guy. <laughs> wrong bathroom, Eve. Eve! Oh. Maybe we're in the wrong <laughs> Losers. Didn't you hear me calling you? Yeah, I heard you. And why are we in the boys lose? <laughs> are you hiding from me, Eve? <laughs> You're still mad at me about your birthday. I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> what are you doing in here? I'm trying to talk to Eve. Hey, you guys want to smoke? Mm, tragic. You're so not the type to hold a grudge. Just leave your Sylvie. <laughs> Green Ray! <laughs> Substance identified. No, it's not mine. Silence. Identifying culprit. Sylvie Stone. Loser. Wait, no, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. I'm not a loser. Uh oh. Don't waste your time. Wait for the minimum. Which means only winners reach the highest mountain peaks. This is Masako saying sayonara and see you soon. By the time Masako and her teacher, Sensei Tamachi, arrive, this school will be clean, sparkling, and attended only by the finest examples of this country's youth. It will be a school full of winners. That is why Sylvie Stern has been suspended. There is no place for students like her at Eden Heights oh, School. She got it wrong. Quiet. We are going to clean up this school. Operation Winners is about to begin. Miss Gravely. I haven't finished. When our Japanese guests arrive, they will be selecting one student to return with them on an exchange program. And the finalists are Imogen Crookshank Shaw and Eve Baxter. You will both be presenting a speech to the representatives of our sister school. The topic will be only winners reach the highest mountain peaks. I so, so, so want to go to Japan. So, what are you going to do about it? Well, wait, I've told you, so we aren't friends anymore. So? So it's not my problem. I just want to say how sorry I am, Eve. About that you won't be going to Japan. If I hadn't come along, you might have stood a chance. Does Eve stand a chance? That's the question we hope to answer in this wonderful event for our fine young athletes. Lovely Corbin, Holly, Melissa, Charlotte, yes. And of course, a very glamorous Sylvie bringing glamour back to the sporting arena. Eve and her calisthenic, colourful behaviour, the steely-eyed Imogen. Are you back? Matt, the great technician. Yes, and I think we're almost ready. And they're off. Can't wait. <laughs> Kisses. Ciao. Oh, do you know who that was? That was Sharon Suckling. I've told you about Shares, haven't I? My uh, best friend at primary school. <sighs> Horrible cow. Hiya. G'day, love. She and her husband are coming for dinner here. Hang on, I thought you just said that she was a stupid cow. Did I? 
from. I just meant there was a certain amount of competition between me and she. Right. right. Anyway, now that I have a gorgeous husband and a stepson who... and a stepson, two of them, in fact, and a stepdaughter who might be going to Japan as an exchange student. Yes. Yes, that's very good. I can use that. Japan, eh? Yeah. All I have to do is give the best speech. See ya. In Japanese schools, everyone competes so they can get the best marks, so they can get into the best universities, so they can get the best jobs. The pressure is way intense. Come on, Kathy! <laughs> Today we see just how much squishing school girl can take. Imogen Sanda and the Eva Sanda. Okay, like great squishing! Here to judge. We're just so very disappointed. Well, I blame myself. I should have breastfed her for longer. Oral fixation. That's why I didn't, didn't do anything. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sylvie, you have to take responsibility for your own addictions. You just talk to us, darling. There's many natural ways you can expand your mind. Oh, drop dead. Oh. Perhaps you could exert some positive peer pressure, Imogen. I'll do my best. I wonder what fried their brains. Why didn't you say anything? You know it wasn't me. Under different circumstances, you know that I'd be right there beside you. But with this Japan competition coming up, I really can't afford to get Miss Gravely offside. Can I? But look on the bright side. What? What bright side? You've given me a great idea for my speech. Winners say no to drugs. Very topical, don't you think? Eve, Sylvie. No, I'm not here. Sylvie? Yeah, sorry, um, Eve's not home yet. I thought she was, but... Yeah, OK. Yeah, I'll tell her. Still haven't made up, huh? No. She got suspended today. What for? Marijuana. But it wasn't hers, it was Corbin's. Only Gravely didn't know so that. Sylvie wasn't... She had nothing to do with it. It'll be fine. Well, it's true. Sylvie didn't enjoy school anyway, so she's probably really happy. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Besides, I've got work to do. 